Hi everyone, welcome back to All Cloud Things Learning and Certification video series. In this video, I will talk about Azure Cloud subscription tenant and account, and as well as Azure Management Group, Resource Group, and Resources in detail. So let's talk about uh, these topics in detail one after another. Subscription. So subscription is the first thing, uh, we, the first steps we need to obtain. Uh, so we, there are several way we, uh, some, someone can opt in the, uh, the subscription, one the enterprise level. Let's say any customer is already using some Microsoft enterprise solution, so they can directly uh, link their existing enterprise ID with the Azure Cloud and start using uh, Azure Cloud services as well. Another uh, reseller, there are several resellers who also provide uh, cloud uh, subscription and, and some customer can avail from uh, the reseller as well. And another managed partner, the managed partners are uh, in the another channel, someone can take the subscription, cloud subscription. Uh, the difference between the reseller or the managed partner is just the managed partner also provides the the solutioning while deploying uh, the, their solution and also they can customize the offering based on the customer requirement if customer take the premium support or any sort of support that they discuss with. And uh, finally, we have personal level subscription as well. Anyone can take the personal level subscription, just create an account into the Azure portal and can go uh, at the personal level that can be attached with the Azure AD and start using that. So moving into the next one, the Azure account. The Azure account is, is, is simply an identity in Azure Active Directory or, in, or, or a directory that is trusted by Azure AD. May, maybe uh, some, some, some account that maybe belong to be, may be belong, uh, belonging to your, your, your company or a school or any organization that they have taken the subscription. So, so the subscription uh, is attached to the, the account and the directory there. And, and then further we have a, an, another topic that is uh, called the tenant. What is tenant? The tenant is just the instance of Azure AD containing accounts and group. Yeah, it's, it's just the location uh, in the some cloud provider region that, that, that houses the servers providing cloud services. For example, any customer takes uh, the, their service, the, the cloud offering, for example, they, they take the VM uh, or a load balancer and then they determine they want to deploy these, these uh, VMs and load balancer into the Europe region. So uh, the cloud, the Azure, automatically when they commission that, then automatically they create a tenant uh, ID and when they uh, create the source for the customer in that particular region where the customer selects. Uh, so further in this, uh, I, I'm just going to explain the Azure hierarchy, uh, how, uh, the organization hierarchy can can be defined and and the, what is the top level hierarchy in the azure cloud so the top level hierarchy in the azure cloud is the root management group uh, and then further management groups and subscription resource groups and resources i will talk about each uh, all of these uh, in detail uh, but i will just talk about in brief uh, in management group and the policy that the that in the cloud uh, we can so because these are the really uh, detailed uh, concept I will be preparing detailed uh, video on the management and the Azure policy and how we can define the control using the Azure policy and that can uh, can attach to the management group or a subscription level to restrict or 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 maybe defining a compliance perspective. Let's say we want uh, to define and restrict 
to know know our administrator uh, should I be able to create a VM in some particular uh, region under the subscription so that 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 has to be met if that is not met some some reason uh, if any any administrator creates that uh, the VM in different than what is uh, the policy says so then that will be kind of violation and and that that we can see uh, which is not me meeting under our compliance standards so th this these are really vast topics I will be covering all these two topics in my next video so in this video let's focus on the Azure uh, AD what what Azure AD has and the, what is the subscription and how what is the resource group uh, will look like I just uh, try to uh, show you these two images and so that I can explain the uh, the first thing when someone create account and take the subscription and the Azure AD has users the users are the user of the the company who has uh, taken the Azure cloud services and the users can be just the management person who is who is going to take care of the management and subscription and billing billing uh, or the user can be the real administrator who is going to uh, ad administer all the setup or the application deploy uh, developer anyone and further in the in the ad we can have a group uh, defined per user base or for per application base so what what they can do so that is uh, we can attach what what access the control access they, they can have into the any subscription so that that we define and attach those groups with the subscription and under the subscription we create a resource group so resource resource group is just the container where we uh, we put the similar sort of resources or maybe same uh, project resources in one group so that uh, we can define the control on the resource group and further in the resource we can have any type of resources like we can have a virtual machine or a uh, vnet sql nick public ips uh, private ip application gateway any any resources that we we can take uh, and utilize in the cloud that that we can put into the resource group so it's just a container just to define uh, the structure in in the uh, in, in a Azure cloud so that we can uh, define our policies and control in a better way so this is the one case uh, case where we have just the one subscription so let's take the another example where maybe we have a more than one subscription so uh, so the managing multiple subscription can be the problem uh, or a, a complex task so overcome from this problem that we have a management group uh, is, is the another entity the virtual entity that we can create in, in the Azure cloud so management group is nothing just the container which where we can put the sum of the subscription under the one management group and maybe another uh, we can create and put the different projects so uh, that the, the defining uh, subscription under the management group can be can vary based on the 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 company to company how uh, they they have the project uh, and how, how what level of projects they have maybe they can define based on the business unit or maybe they can define the project for maybe they can create a one group for the production or another for development or, or UAT like this so the the main purpose for management group just to organize the subscription only uh, so that the group of subscription we can define the policy on the management level so if any policy defined in the management uh, group one and we have a two subscription subscription underneath that group so that is going to be inherited all the way to the down to the subscription to the further down to the resource group so they so we don't need to specially go in and uh, define the separate separate policies for each subscription so, uh, for which the subscription are going to serve for one purpose same purpose so this is very helpful uh, 
defining the policy. However, I'll be discussing what is the policy. Uh, for, for now, you can just take the Azure policy something. We define the rule set. Uh, I just mentioned uh, controlling uh, or defining the compliance perspective. We could define if something we is against the rule defined that, that so that we can uh, get a trigger alert that it is not meeting our standards uh, for, for now. Uh, so let's get into the one more thing here. What is the subscription and how many? There is limitation also there uh, under the subscription. We can have a multiple subscription uh, that, that can be attached with the one organization or a, under the management group. And further, under one subscription, we can have a multiple licenses. So licenses, when I say licenses, maybe uh, we can take the one license for Azure, uh, the, the uh, v, VPC or, or any Azure platform uh, infrastructure or past services, or maybe we, we can also have the another license there for Office 365 and link those under the one subscription per business unit. So whatever consumption, uh, they are going to consume and that be, will be uh, giving the idea about how much the cost is going to be uh, for that particular business unit. So su subscription is just to maintain the billing purpose or and defining the uh, the billing services can be uh, done what level in the Azure. And uh, one more thing there. So this uh, under the management group, we can have multiple subscription. However, one subscription can be attached or associated with the one management group or 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 the active directory or the directory or account in the Azure. For, for example, let's say we have a company ABC. Eh? So the ABC.com, the domain name of the company is the main AD tenant going to that will be the common in, in the AD tenant, uh, Azure Active Directory tenant, and there may have a several subscription attached to that account, to this user account or a directory, but the subscription cannot be attached, one subscription cannot be attached to the multiple directory or account uh, upwards. So that's it in this video. If you like my video, uh, please, Please like, uh, subscribe my channel, and and so that you can get the further notification about my upcoming video. And please let me know if there are any suggestion, and please uh, share or paste those on the comment area. Thank you.